One. Hey, two. Hey, one. Hey, two. Hey, three. Hey, four. Hey. consulting my Bible and making sure that I'm not already overbooked because yeah that's that's a big part of our yeah. job right it's yeah that was in our last book. episode about you know trying yeah. to do you know keep your commitments and, and, and dedication so yes definitely definitely I live by my calendar like I put meetings that I'll say um like I have an appointment with my son to go to a vegan thing. I'm like on my calendar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna film a video audition on my calendar. I need to go to the dentist on my calendar. Hey, did you get that invite I sent you for that play? I did. Okay, good. Because it's now it's on like, her calendar. It's on my calendar. <laughs> I was sitting in my bedroom like, like that's not on my calendar. <laughs> Holy cannoli! Like we might, we might not be able to go to the show, and yeah, so so it's huge. It's absolutely huge. I know I've gotten into the the practice of always putting people on speakerphone mm -hmm. before I like, hey, can you do this date? And I'm like, well, every time I say yes, I have something in my calendar. So hold on and let me double check because yeah, yeah that's just the way that it works. Right, it, and yeah. you know, just like you know, just scheduling and, and taxing because it's, the, it's again, we're back to that work life balance. Like. Mm -hmm. you gotta give a little time to the children you got to give a little time to the spouse or whomever you got to cook you got to take care of your house but then you still got to take care of yourself yes you know yes. um and then, and then it starts to have that 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 uh comparing your personal with your professional life and right. how, you know how you balance that out absolutely know? and i mean it goes into uh everything right from our self-care mm -hmm. and doctor's appointments to mm -hmm. professional development right? right and i think that's probably just as key of a, a component to your career mm -hmm. um i don't know one actor that doesn't hone their craft and some way at least occasionally mm -hmm. so you know uh taking that time out and blocking time on your calendar so that you are taking classes right. that you are uh finding time for professional development and uh those kind of things don't mm -hmm. you feel the same yeah uh if i'm not constantly learning something whether it's reading a book or looking at something that might be a, a workshop a free workshop or even some additional coaching then I'm feeling like I'm not really giving 100% to my craft. Mm -hmm. um, and that that's just a part of the business. Like you should always be constantly, constantly growing. There's no excuse. So some people are like, I can't afford a coach. There's free coaches all over. Sure are. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you got YouTube. There's so much you can do. Um, so that's not an excuse. Yeah, and so again, much information. Yeah, and right. it's just uh, again, this episode is going to tie so much into uh, our previous episode. Yeah. If you didn't watch it, that was one. Was, that one was on <laughs> commitments and education. Yeah. So I think these two are great to piggyback on, especially right. if you're in our industry, uh, because again, these two go t hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And if you are really dedicated to your craft, if you are really committed, yeah. you're going to be uh, blocking out time for yourself. 
for your career, mm -hmm. for honing your craft, all of those things because they just make you a better actor and, in my opinion, a better person. Right. Have you had any mishaps or, um, um, how do I say, uh, anyways, have you ever had any issues maybe double booking yourself? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did talk about that before. A little bit. <laughs> but right now, I try not to, to happen. It's not so much me double booking as it is if, if something gets thrown off the path. Okay. Like, you know, like, I'm so like, it's got to be this way. And then there's a shift. And then that, then you have to kind of organize that shift. Okay, well, we can't. We're not filming on this day. It's been booked be, uh, a week now because now there was a rainstorm or there was a snowstorm and we can't film or it was raining and we need to be outside so now we have to push the shoot out for two weeks and then that's how you can have a overbook a sure. double book because it's like oh in two weeks i'm going to be over here right. filming for this or i might be rehearsing for the stage you yeah. know and, yeah. and those things do happen and they can be very stressful and taxing so you have to find ways to just be calm, to balance it out, come with a solution, a win-win solution. Mm -hmm, um, and mm -hmm. what would be some of the things that you do, you know, like when you throw a monkey in the wrench, I think that's what I say. Right. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I tried to throw it in the wrench. The monkey in the wrench. I the monkey is messing everything up. I know. Anyway. <laughs> but not, not sunshine and love. Not sunshine and love. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it, it comes down to sometimes you will have those late nights mm. and you will um, kind of stress yourself and have to overcompensate when those things go wrong yeah. that are out of your control, mm -hmm. but you're still going to show up and you're still going to give it your all and you're still going to make it work. You know, like that is kind of what we do as actors, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. you know, that's part of um, who you have to be if you're going to come into this because again you have so many people relying on you um, in terms of production and all of that you know if you got cast they wanted you and you know so there are times when you just have to dig deep and uh, make it work whether that's spending half your night memorizing lines mm -hmm. or you know uh calling other people to help pick people up and things like that you know like uh mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of juggling that i think goes along with this career it does mm -hmm. and in and, and the you know some people will be like well i've been doing this for a long time i don't need any more classes or or personal development but you can always learn more like for me my area of that I need more growth on is like commercials. Mm -hmm. Okay, auditioning mm -hmm. for commercials. So I just took, uh, I think it was like a $200 workshop with um, an acting coach in LA. Yeah. And it was, you know, my webisodes, but I learned so much in that four hours. And just that little bit of money that I put up front just to see how I can better sharpen my skills when auditioning for commercials. Um, professional, professional development is, is key that you shouldn't get so comfortable that you're constantly thinking that you don't need any more help or you don't need any more coaching. I mean, even veterans have coaches. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. And, and even though, it, again, it could be taxing, like, oh, here goes more money I got to put in. Oh, here goes more time. You know, I get it. But the rewards are enormous. Definitely. You know, they're, they're enormous. So, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's just something you want to think about. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to get let your ego get too like so carried away that, you know, oh, I, I know it all. There's nothing more that I can learn. You mm -hmm. know, that's that's really being in a rut, if yeah. you ask me. Um, and, and again, sometimes uh, techniques change and, and what people are looking for changes and things like that. So it is really smart and it behooves you to um, hone your craft, get into some professional uh, development, you know, and, and you know where you're weak. You know where you need help. You know where you struggle. So whether it's getting into character, whether it's, you know, uh, like for me, I know my weak spot is drama. So I like to look for a scene studies where I can dive deep into really dramatic uh, heart-wrenching roles because I can do comedy I can do light-hearted mm -hmm. so how can I hone my craft to help me express that side of myself that doesn't come so easily so you know really knowing yourself and knowing where you're, you're you stumble where you're strong um, those are all really uh, uh, great things that you you should uh, have you know right yeah and then and just back-to-back -back auditionings that can be mm. super overwhelming with scheduling texting because you need a reader, you need somebody to videotape it, you need some someone to help you, you know, like, you know, to prepare and rehearse. 
And if you have three or four scripts, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that that can be a little overwhelming. But it's again, it's all a part of the business. Yeah, you know, and and that's when you come into whatever your your skills of organizations of trying to get it done. Also, for me, I, I videotape my friends. And I mm -hmm. have a friend who's in Atlanta and be like, uh, can you read for me so I can audition for this video? <laughs> so we're doing it like long distance on the phone. That's and great. you know, there's a two hour difference. And so I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. But whereas you already had dinner, I still need to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But his dedication is so much. So when it's like nine o'clock here, it's 11 o'clock there, but he still wants to do it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's just how much you're willing to put in to, to get back out. It, it's your personal investment for yourself. You know, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. I mean, the schedules could be off, especially when you have friends on different time zones. That could be, you know, challenging. Um, you know, when your friends are like, yo, you know, like I have my friend Kedrick who's like, okay, what's your schedule like today? And I might be like super busy all the way to like three. And he was like, well, I gotta be to work at four. So he has to get like something in between mm -hmm. three and four yeah. or, you know, two and three or something anyway we would have to shift our schedule around because I want to support him and he supports me to get it in you yeah. know what I'm saying and it could take up a, a, a lot of your day like the other day we were we literally did three hours of just filming video auditions with each other for three mm -hmm. hours mm -hmm. three hours and after that you're like I just had a full work day of just video audition so Absolutely. yeah it, it's a lot it's a lot in this business and it's just it's just a matter of how much you want it how dedicated you are and, and just organizing your life around it. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I think it does behoove you to like, uh, maybe if organization isn't your strong suit, start looking into, uh, you know, like your Franklin Covey's, your, uh, you know, your daily planner kind of things, because there are so many resources out there online, um, you know, your Google, Google calendars, all of these things that'll uh, kind of sync up with everything else and make your life a lot easier. Um, definitely look into that, you know, organization isn't my strongest suit, but I've definitely taken the time mm -hmm. to figure out what works for me. And, you know, uh, and I'm still figuring it out in terms of making sure that I'm doing what my best practice is because my best practice may not have been discovered yet but I have a practice that works um, so <laughs> and everything's a work in progress at least of course it is <laughs> so I know you mentioned like your when, for professional development like mine's is uh, well mine's is also comedy comedy is like my week her's mm -hmm, strong and mm -hmm. mine's drama and hers that's her we're the yin yang twins. Yeah, we're totally. Yeah. You know, so this uh, uh, this is right. like perfect. But um, like, what would be a role for you that you would find most challenging? That would be drama. That you would just have to go deep. That you would, like. What is the what? Like, why would why? For most actors, comedy is a challenge. Yeah. Com you know, comedic timing yeah. is a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why is drama for you? A little bit more challenging and how taxing could it be for you yeah and I I think that's that's a great question Ladios this is one of my favorite uh, uh, like Confucius says of all time is that the rabbit doesn't know what or the rabbit can't tell you what it looks like while it's running through the forest it can only tell you what the forest looks like while it runs through it right so I don't know what it is that I give off but I know I have an element of goofy mm -hmm. that comes off and sometimes when I'm trying to be serious, it's still hope. So um, it's that's just so I don't know where where it comes from, but yeah, sometimes people just don't take me seriously what? when I'm trying to be serious in, in terms of like dr dramatic kind of thing. Uh -huh. And that might be my own perception, right? Because again, I don't get to see it. Now we were in Suicide Lies. I felt like that was a pretty dramatic, yeah, uh, role. And I I don't think I failed by no, any no. means, you know. But 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 it's definitely not my bellywick. It's definitely not like oh that's my comfort zone mm -hmm. part of it for me I think comes from uh, having a past that's uh uh, heavy with trauma mm. that um, I spent a good deal of my life putting on this show of I'm fine nothing gets to me mm -hmm. uh, which is a lot of my comedy mm -hmm. um, is you know like make people laugh don't you know so um, you get so good at that over so much time in your life that now to be vulnerable now to go into those deep spaces feels icky and uncomfortable but it's not that it's not there it's just not the 
it's not my comfort zone. It's not, mm. that's not where I'm happy. That's not where I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather make people laugh and be silly and ha ha, you yeah. know, but yeah, there's plenty of depth there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, um, and it, and I find that interesting because I know we've been vulnerable with each other behind mm -hmm. scenes and stuff. So I, 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 um, I just, I, you know, for me, I don't really, my, I'll do goofy stuff with my children and my daughter will be like, you're a goofball, you're a nerd, you're a weirdo. And it'll be funny and I'll like have everybody, but I don't really think I'm naturally funny. Mm -hmm. So if I have to try something funny, I'm like, ooh, ooh, this is like so forced. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can go, I can go through layers and uncover stuff and, and you know, and that's not so taxing. But when it comes to comedy, it's like, I got to really figure that part out. Yeah. You know, I think dramedy will be, you know, dramedy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dramedy, yeah. Comedy. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. But, yeah, the thing with comedy, I think it's like you really got to dedicate yourself to it. So if you're stupid, you got to be really stupid, like, you know, and like <laughs> drop it all. And it, it does take, it's a hell of a commitment, but yeah. it, it's great when it comes off grid. Yeah. You know, it's hot. Uh, and you know, getting, getting, getting out of your comfort zone can also be very taxing, you know, when you're, you know, when you haven't had the training or the professional development or the coaching to get that. But you don't want to be... You at least you want to try to avoid being stereotyped into one way. Yes. You know. Yes. Um. So that the you know taking those personal development classes or learning from others or getting out of your comfort zone is going to be very helpful. Yeah. Because I technically I personally want to book a major commercial so you can have some residual yeah. income coming in. Well, see, yeah, that's know? that like the the like one of the roles that I'd love to do and that I don't think I'd ever get cast in is like let's say uh, what is the show right now? It's 911 and ah, Angela Bassett yeah. is like the cop, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'd love to be that tough cop, you know, and I'm like, yeah. they're never going to, yeah, no, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so yeah, so that kind of, you know, like people just don't take, I don't take myself seriously, so how can I expect anyone else to? <laughs> I, I can see you as a detective, lawyer, I can see you in a serious Thank role, you. but you Thank know, you. Yes. but I, I think you, you would do a little twist of, and it would make it comedic, it, it, yeah, it I, I, would, I, it would play well. Yeah. It would yeah. play well. Yeah. 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 So, you know, there, there's just so many things and avenues to, you know, trying to balance your, your life with scheduling to, to get the best that you can as an actor, to be the best that you can as an actor. Um, again, there were some of the tools that you mentioned, like Google, Google Calendar, Asana, 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 Asana. Sure. Um, there's... there's Slack. Slack is a helpful tool as well. That's I'm new to that one, but that one works. But mm. there's just a, a a ton of different areas to to get you balanced. And you know, um, you know, even doing your auditioning, you probably start with the most shortest one, like the yeah. shortest memorization, instead of trying to get those lengthy ones in first. That's great. You know, so you can feel accomplished. Okay, I got that one down. You know, mm -hmm. that's a great yeah. technique. Or, yeah. or breaking down if there's like four scenes and you ha and they're lengthy scenes, just do the first scene, come back, memorize the second scene. You know. But um, it's all about organization. Yeah, you know? and, and again, finding what's going to work for you because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, it goes back to a couple of episodes we were talking about memorization techniques, yes. right? And mm -hmm. that, you know, like depending on what type of learner you are, depending on, mm -hmm. you know, what, what really works. Like my having my calendar on my phone, that is absolutely mm -hmm. what works for me. Writing it down somewhere, that might as well be a scrap piece of paper in the trash. Like that does nothing, but having it on my electronic device that I always have with me like that's what like works right but you know you have to figure those things out <laughs> do you sleep with your electronic device I actually do because I don't have a partner so it has the second pillow oh. and it's like good night and then I know I'm gonna wake up good because okay. I have my alarm right there so it's like <clears throat> wait a minute I thought you were like kind of treading the waters a little bit I'm still sleeping alone oh okay well <laughs> Told you she's available <laughs> to sleep alone. <laughs> oh my god! My phone would get jealous. You can't have that. Oh no! Hey, you guys can put it in the middle. You can be like a threesome or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm comfortable. <laughs> I don't like Sherry. <laughs> Me and you both. Right. 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 Yeah, I think we're going to a different conversation here. Totally. Anyway. <laughs> No, but some of the things you know, we talk about your professional balancing out your professional and your in your um your your personal life. Uh, how do you how do you go out on dates or anything like you know how to, and then you know dealing with the fact that hey you gotta say I'm an actor 
Or do you even right, tell them? Right, right. No, tell them I, I do absolutely yeah. because there are a lot of people that, uh, you know, God, my last relationship acting basically destroyed it. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, I'm very much like, hey, this is who I am. And, you know, I have a very busy life and schedule. And if you can fit in, great. You know, if not, then bye bye. And that might be why I'm still sleeping by my cell phone at night. Anyway, um, it's, <laughs> but again, it's like uh, those kind of things you just have to schedule and be cognizant of, of that, you know, like, oh, okay, I actually have Saturday night free. Oh, I can do this and those kind of things, but you know. You know how it is when we have theater. There oh, is yeah. no time. Oh yeah. Like every, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, when theater yeah. hits, I'm sorry, wait. everybody's kind of ne neglected. Not even neglected, you're just kind of, it's minimal. I always say tech week, my life is fucking hell. Like, yeah, yeah like, tech week, like, like tech forget week, about it. rehearsal week. Forget about it. You, the, we're not scheduling anything. Mm -hmm. It's it's all about the craft at that mm -hmm. point because mm -hmm. you just, I mean, it's late nights. So oh, you, yeah. you, especially if you have a full-time job and you get off at four and then you're like on rehearsal from five to 11. And yeah, you, you basically gotta come what, there. Monday through, yeah, Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. you might be doing rehearsal yeah. for at least four hours. Yeah. And then once production comes, then you at least have every weekend mm -hmm. that's reserved, if not a couple of extra days plus the weekend. So yeah, that that is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. So how would you balance that out with your personal life? You know, mm -hmm. I'm figuring that one out. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I take it days by days, that's all, you know. And that's I'm like, fair. Yeah, that's all that you yeah. can do, you know. Uh, Hopefully yeah. someone will come along that doesn't uh, demand so much and is uh, cognizant of my schedule and congratulates it versus yeah. uh, poo-poos it, you know. So, it. yeah, exactly. Poo-poo. So, What's that? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, yeah. but it's not a big concern everything right. falls into place when yeah. it's supposed to so I don't worry about that yeah yeah, yeah. I, it gets super busy I get I, I feel a little guilty sometimes when you know because Mr. King is like okay I'm, I'm cool and I started now I started being like are you available Do you yeah know you know I don't want to take it for granted you know yeah. I don't want to take anything for granted because you know you want to make sure that they're that they are honoring their space as well and their time, you know, is not just being monopolized by your time. So, right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad he's super flexible, but I do try to utilize other friends and other avenues when sure. it comes to this craft. You yeah. Know, just to give it a balance, because you don't want to take anybody And then scheduling in, in those one-on-one -on -one yeah. times and, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that you have like special Like, date time. night! Exactly. <laughs> I love know? date night! Yeah, and that's not a big deal. Again, as long as you're aware of my conflicts, yeah. you'll work around them. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you'll work around it. <laughs> you'll work around you'll it. Work you hear that? You, you'll work, <laughs> you'll around work around it. Around. Not I work around it. No, but for real. No, so but yeah, in this you. business, scheduling, and, 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 and it could just be super taxing, and, and memorizations, and just balancing out all of that could be a lot, a lot, a lot. But, um... It's all a part of the biz, right? That's right, that's right. You take it as it comes, one day at a time, and uh, yeah, just keep on uh, keep track of what you gotta keep track of, right? That's what we do, right? So keep yeah. track of what you gotta keep track of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right on. Well, that's all I got for today. What you got? Uh, that's it. Just yeah. uh, keep coming through and subscribing and liking and commenting. Yes. Uh, yeah. We love you all for uh, your continued support. Yeah, so, thank yeah. you so much, Dark Side Family, for sliding through. Remember to get up and get out and do something for yourself. I'm Ladios Muhammad, actor with purpose. And I'm Raven Moon, an actor with passion. And we are actors from, from the, the dark, dark side. side.